In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install mods for TCG Car Shop Simulator. So I've just done a fresh install of the game just to keep things clean. The first thing you want to do is you want to go over to your browser and you want to go to Nexus Mods. And there is a mod called Bepin EX, which is a mod manager. So we're going to want to download that first. So I'm going to open this in a new browser window and I'm going to go over to it and then I'm going to go to files and you're going to want to click manual download. Now you're going to want to make sure that you are logged into Nexus mods and you don't need the premium account. You just need a free account. So set up a free account if you don't have one already and then click manual download. Once you're here, you want to click slow download. After you click slow download, it will ask you to save it to your computer. Now I have a folder on my computer called TCG mods, which is where I save all my mods. And I also have a mods backup folder in here just to back up my mods. So I'm just going to save it to that folder. After it's done, then you want to go to that folder. Now, if you have something like WinRAR, you can use that to extract it. I'm just using the default Windows extraction tool. So I'm just going to go over here and click extract all. And then I'm going to extract. And now that it's extracted, I'm going to close this and I'm just going to delete the zip file. And then you're going to want to go into Steam, right click TCG Card Shop Simulator, go to Manage, and then go to Browse Local Files. This will open up the files in the Steam folder. I'm going to move this to the right, and then I'm going to have my TCG Mods folder on the left. And then I'm going to go into the Bepin EX folder. I'm going to grab all of these files here, and I'm going to drag and drop them into the empty space on the right here in the TCG Card Shop Simulator folder. I'm going to press Copy. So now that's done. So you want to make sure that that's working. You open up the game and after it's loaded in, you want to press F1. When you press F1, you should see this pop up. This tells you that Bepin EX is installed correctly. If you don't get this when you press F1, then you might need to hold down your function key on your keyboard and then press F1. If that doesn't work, then you need to make sure that you did the steps correctly. So now that that's done, I'm going to quit. Now I'm going to show you guys how to install a mod that requires Bepin EX. So I'm going to go back to my browser and I'm going to go back to the main mods page. And we're going to use this auto set process as an example because it's, it's a great mod and it's one of the top mods that use Bepin EX. If you're installing like a texture replacing mod, then there's a whole bunch of other steps you need to follow. And I do have a video on the Pokemon overhaul mod, which is one of the more popular ones out there right now. So you can check that out if you want. For this video though, I'm gonna right click on auto set prices and I'm gonna open it in a new tab. And then I'm gonna go over to that tab and then it's the same basic steps. You wanna go to files and then you wanna scroll down, click manual download. Now you'll see that it says that it needs some additional files. Now we already downloaded BEP and EX, so it should work without you know needing these other two i'm not sure why they have multiple ones but let's just download this and i'm going to do slow download and then i'm going to save it to the same folder and then when it's done again i'm going to go over to my tcg mods folder now i need to go back one to get there on the left i'm going to click auto set prices and then i'm going to extract all extract and then i'm going to close this and delete the zip file and then I'm going to go into auto set prices the folder here you'll see a BEP and EX folder so you just want to drag and drop that into the empty space and it will replace any files that are needed to be replaced inside the BEP and EX folder that you already have and it will add any new files that are needed so that's done now now I'm going to go back into the game and I'm going to press play and if I press F1 you'll see auto set prices here so all the settings for the mod are in here. You don't need to mess with this necessarily, but if you do want to, then there are some things that you can set. So you can set card rounding to be enabled and you can change what the rounding actually does. Like if you want to round to the nearest like five cents or whatever, then you can do that. But I'm not going to mess with any of that. I'm just going to load my one of my saves here and I'll just show you that it's working. Okay, so you can see that all of my prices are rounded to the nearest dollar which is what I had it set to and if I change if I add anything new then it should replace it should automatically set the price just to show you guys that it's working I'm going to buy this license here this is something that I've never had in my store before so you can see that it automatically set it to $15 right it wouldn't have done that otherwise so that's how you know it's working so that's essentially it. This is how you install mods that require Bepin EX. If you found this video useful, then please like and subscribe, and we will see you in the next one. Goodbye, everybody.